by using a post within the WordPress dashboard. So first you log in to the WordPress site. You just add your domain name forward slash WP dash admin, A-D-M-I-N, and that gets you to your login screen. Add your username and password and go to posts and click on add new and up will pop the uh, new post so we want to give that uh, product name in the uh, description and like to add visuals so adding a an image for your product is always a good idea I get rid of the link to the image and in the title line try to add uh, some product keywords and same thing with the alt text you want to describe your product but also keep in mind any keywords now you can size your image right here and choose the position that you want it to be in left center right and um, we just want to ins insert this into the post but another thing I want to do with this image is I want to use this as the actual product image. So we want to use this as a featured image. So we've done that. You can see over to the right here it saved it as a feature image. We're going to insert it into the post. So now I'm going to hit my home key. You can see my cursor is blinking over here. And so if I type, it's going to be to the right of this image. And Actually, what I want to do is format this image just a little bit. We go back in. If you noticed, I clicked on the image, and you click on the Edit Image screen there, and that pops up this screen. And under Advanced Settings, I like to give it uh, some vertical space and horizontal space around the image because you don't want the text right tight to it. Now, you can resize your image as well right there if you decide you want it to be just a little bit smaller up there you can do that you can give your image a border if you you, you would just add a number in there and that gives you a certain number of pixels I'm not going to do a border for this we'll leave that blank and that's all we need to do if we did have a link to uh, you know a lot of times we can use an image a link to something else like let's see if we wanted to link this image to my website which of course you wouldn't want to do but if we did that but we wouldn't want it because it closed the current window so we'd want it to open up in a new window would be that case so there's a little info on managing the uh, images so now we have our our product image it's and it's set as the uh, feature image here so it'll give it that um, I can hit the home button and the up arrow and now I'm up above the image now one of the most important SEO functions is what's called an h1 tag the heading one tag you want to click on this to open the second line of editor tools and here we do a uh, this. If I can type here, this is the title of the product list. So you want to create some kind of cool title here. Highlight your text and select heading one. You can see that you know we have heading one through heading six, and they're different sizes. Heading one is is the most dominant, and this is one of the first things Google's going to look at. They're going to look at your uh, URL. So we have our product name right in our URL of the page, and then they look at the heading one. And here is where um, we put our description and specifications and such. So that'll show up on the product information. Give it a uh, unique uh, stock stock unit SKU, and uh, I think I already did a product two, so we're going to call that product three. 
now here you can have options so we can do for example colors or you might do sizes and then you have different prices you know so whoops and so we have our different prices here you select your shipping rate and you'll see that in the shipping setup you're going to have choices you know f was set up as free shipping uh, a is just standard shipping so you have different shipping setups for your products um, and then you can select whether this is going to be a featured product and we can prominently display featured products um, your products part of a sale you want to make sure you select this if a stock is available and then the options options are a drop down select for your options or a radio button so we're going to leave that there now one other important thing to do is to select your category I, I created a couple categories here um, and it's really easy to add a new category you just type it in there and you, you select if it's going to be a underneath another category so this would be the parent category edible and under there is best so you know, we have we can select multiple categories or just one and then you publish simple as that and then once this is done we'll view our product and you can see here how you're off to the races so we have product two and this is the uh, URL Google's going to look at that. This is our heading. This is our description. This is, these are the details about the product. And then we can select our products here. If we want a blue one, we add it to our cart. And we can uh, proceed to checkout and see they have this in our shopping cart. And it's as simple as that. Done to pay. There you go. Now you have a product.